cautious. But isn't this Shang Tsung's magic? How can we trust his warnings? I know how Shang Tsung thinks. I will not have as much power in our world. But here, I have the power to make the way safe. If I had let you enter before, you would have been pulled inside out. This is what I can offer you in the conflict to come. to die here, then it will be for the honor of my family. Very well. I believe that I will be of great assistance to Liu Kang. After all, your magics are too limited in our world. That is correct, Kung Lao. But I can still give you my knowledge of this place. I will try to hide my presence from Shang Tsung. I dare not attract his attention and therefore endanger you. Yes, Master Raiden. And should you encounter Sonya Blade in this realm, be cautious. This place changes even the most honorable of warriors. She may no longer be a friend. Hey guys, Fry here. Welcome back to our Mortal Kombat channel Monks Let's Play. We are on episode 3. Uh, I thought I'd start off. Oh, right, I thought, right, these things here, these switches, uh, you need to use co-op mode to get them, unfortunately. Uh, so, unfortunately we won't be able to do that. But that's fine, that's fine. But yeah, like I said, welcome back. I thought I'd start the video off with that clip instead of doing an intro and then having to be silent for a, a few minutes after. So I just thought, do it simple, get the, uh... Get the cutscene out of the way, and then uh, go for the intro. Right, so we are also going to be doing a new fatality this time. Uh, so I figured I'd do this one. I can't remember what it's called, but it's basically just a homage to his original. Uh, it's the reverse input of Shaolin's Hocker. That's <laughs> one of the reasons why I remember it so well. There we go, kicked him off the edge. So we are currently in our world, and... We have to go here to, uh, I can't remember, it, it, I think it's called the Evil Monastery, or something like that. Uh, because essentially, we got to climb up this tower, and once we climbed up this tower, we're going to be facing our first, well not our first, but our first proper, proper boss. Like, the first boss isn't, like, an incredibly tough boss, but this boss is decently difficult. Oh, I was right, it is the Evil Monastery. So, that was Kitana. Uh, we got to follow her up the tower. Uh, we're going to use the long jump to get up a little bit faster. Uh, there we go. Uh, there should be another cutscene though, yeah. See, I know. I knew these things. Ooh, that was weird. So we've got to be careful of Kung Lao. Also, I love that in this game, when you unlock the other characters, Sub-Zero and Scorpion, they still talk as Kung Lao and uh, Liu Kang. It's just they're just replaced with like the sprite of Sub-Zero and Scorpion, which is really funny to me. Because it's just something about someone like calling Scorpion Liu Kang, and Scorpion's like, yeah. Uh, but for this bit, we've got to basically go through the tower and there are kind of, I guess, different challenges for each thing, sort of. Like, you've got to do a specific something to progress to the next bit. For the first one, we've got to test your might those up, and then we've got to throw the enemies and get them to land on the spikes. Uh, something that, when I was younger, I struggled with. Uh, 
it still is kind of a pain. Uh, they are archers, so they shoot you from afar. That means they're gonna do like a charge shot. Oh, that was a good shot from us. Oh, I thought we got him there then. Anyway, well, let's see if we can roll him into it. Ah, I have a habit of just missing them, but we managed to get them pretty quickly actually. So that unlocks the first door. So that just leaves uh, Muggins here. We'll quickly uh, kill him. What? Oh, I missed. Right, go on. Also, the next upgrade for the fireball. <coughs> also, the next upgrade for the fireball is an air fireball, which, when we get it, guys, I'm going to be honest, I, I never use it. I never land it. But you shoot that and you get a new concept art. Uh, is there another enemy up here? What the hell? Uh, there's not one for there. Uh, but actually, yeah, speaking of, we are now going to... I'm actually going to upgrade, um, we're going to go with a combo, uh, combo special throw, or combo more air combo hits, ooh, we'll, we'll go with more air combo hits, my plan is to buy the uh, upgrades a little bit at a time, same with the fatalities, because otherwise, halfway through this game, we're probably going to have everything unlocked, all the fatalities, and, and all the combos and special moves so it's better to take your time because i'd like to, i like to reveal them a little you know slower than normal uh, otherwise it just like i said we just blow through it but we're gonna pick up these weapons oh, these weapons are pretty cool uh but for this bit we've just gotta basically oh god uh so we've just gotta do that really oh wait he didn't go there right, hopefully now he will no can you just Oh my goodness, this is... There we go. <laughs> oh no, we didn't land on this body. So when enemies are on spikes, you can pretty much just jump on their bodies. Which is very useful. Uh, it gets you up a lot of places. Is there anything hidden up here? No. Right, so we'll just go up here. We don't have to break these. There's nothing hidden behind any of them, unfortunately. But we will quickly uh, spear jump ahead. Now, this room used to give me trouble, uh, especially because there is a secret item here, and I want to get it. So we're, we're going to get it. And these enemies are giant pets. Right? Just chuck you in there. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, gosh. See what I mean? Ah. Okay. Right. I just want to... There you go. So you got to chuck them. You're annoying me. Ow. Ow. Oh, guys, what if we die? <gasps> nah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. What? How did that... Come. Come here. No, stop blocking. And you. Right. So what you gotta do is you gotta chuck one. Oh god! Right, we're gonna have to kill these guys or one of them quickly because we almost died. Right over here, I forgot killing the other one brings another one. So we'll throw him. Ah, uh, we missed. Surely, there we go. Right now that I finally have done that. What that does is, it basically just reveals that behind the statue, so you unlock new concept art. Uh, new concept art also can mean uh, new fatality images. So uh, it's best to get as many of those things as you can. Uh, some will unlock characters and verses, like I said, uh, in the Wuxi Academy you can unlock Johnny Cage. Uh, in this area you can actually unlock Katana, which was the blue girl we've been following. Hang on a sec, let me just take a sip. Oh. There you go, that was Katana. Also, now we're gonna learn. Now we're gonna learn a new ability. Which. Well. I, I, see, I feel like. Should I tell you guys what it is? Or should I just let the game tell you what it is? I'm never quite sure. Mortality obtained. You now have the power to kill multiple enemies at one time. So, yeah, now. You must prefer if you see the red 
glowing thing that normally tells us we have a fatality. We now have like a little, two little red balls by it. And basically, you can either spend it on two fatalities or a multality, which is just one big fatality. Uh, like, covers a wide area. Oh, that, that's cool. So I'm going to wait till they all come close. Uh, Liu Kang's is a lot better than Kung Lao's. Kung Lao's is awful. Uh, they both have two. Uh, but the first one they both get, Liu Kang's is good. Both of Liu Kang's are good, but Kung Lao's is awful. Absolutely awful. So there you go, that's a mortality. We officially performed our first mortality, guys. So I don't know if I'll be doing all that many mortalities. Uh... But they do come in handy. Anyway, up here is a little hidden secret, and you unlock Katana for versus mode, which she's really fun to play, especially in versus mode. Um, unfortunately, you won't be able to play versus mode as there's no one really to play versus mode with, uh, and I don't have another controller. But now we just got to finish getting up the rest of the tower, and it's kind of just like a cool lot of enemies, uh, more and more enemies each time. Uh, and yeah, once we've killed each enemy on all the floors, oh, we kicked him off the edge. Uh, once we kill all the enemies on the floors, then the gate will open and we'll be able to progress. Also, these little things when you break them, they're like the little stone things we were breaking in the Wuxi Academy. They can give you health or XP. The yellow ball is XP and the green ball is obviously health. Oh, well, I thought he survived then. Oh, no. Uh, the, also, if you see those little floating things there, the uh, priests, they cannot grab, which can be a absolute pain in the backside. Uh, and you can't do a fatality on them. And I believe mortalities don't count towards the either. Whoa. I absolutely love playing this game. Liu Kang? Liu Kang. It's all the noises he makes, guys. It's so funny. He really likes to express himself when he fights. Right, this is the last gauntlet of enemies. And just to quickly get rid of these guys. We're gonna do the mortality. I don't think the mortality affects them. Yeah, no, it doesn't. But luckily with Liu Kang, you can literally just fly and kick them off the edges. It's the easiest way to get rid of them. Because they can do a lot of things. They choke you, uh, they give each other health back, they fire lightning down, they power each other up. They are a gigantic thing. But luckily, we, like I said, we play Liu Kang, so we can just take them out. Also, up there is a little thing, a little pillar. You have to wait here, otherwise you get smacked flying back by it. Um, see, I was going to just get to here and then end the episode. But that means we're going to end up with like a 12 minute episode. So I think we're going to, I think we're going to fight the boss guys. We're going to fight the boss in this episode. I wasn't planning on, I thought it would take a, a little longer to get up here. Um, I, then again, I thought it'd take even longer to, to, to do the Wuxi Academy. So what do I know guys? Hey, what do I know? But yes, this is Katana. She's supposed to be an ally. Look at them thighs. She thick. You're beautiful. <laughs> Liu Kang immediately simping for Katana. Katana, the loyal daughter of Shao Kahn, the eternal emperor of Outworld. And you are enemies of this realm, and therefore my enemies. Isn't oh. she supposed to be helping us? So, uh, looks like we're gonna have to kick her ass. Her oh my god, did you see her cheeks then, guys? Yeah. Uh, so this is like the first stage of the fight. So you basically just have to beat Katana up until she gets half health. Uh, you have to be careful when you do the air combos, because she will, like, hit you out of it with her fan. Oh, whoa, I forgot she does that. Uh, but you can get a few air hit combos on her. See? Oh, I missed. Let's with that. I think we've knocked her down almost enough now. Aha! There we go. So you knock her down to about half health before she uh, gives up. Yeah, run away, bitch. I'm, I'm actually astounded. I don't remember her being this thick. Like, 
old Mortal Kombat games. I forgot just how like revealing all the female costumes were. In fact, I remember it being a big fuss when uh, they announced them. Yeah, they weren't going to be doing stuff like that anymore, and a lot of people got very mad. But yeah, uh, this is going to be the first proper boss fight. As you can see, there's three warriors there. But right now, it's just Kitana. I don't know why she dislikes us so much, guys. What did we do? You know? Slow motion. Matrix style. <laughs> I love the little throw he does with his legs. Also, depending on who you pick, it just swaps, switches which character does all this. So, if I was Kung Lao, you'd see Kung Lao do all this. And same if I was Scorpion or Sub-Zero, it would just palette swap them, essentially. But here come the other two, Jade and Melina. So this boss fight is uh, a 3v1, which... <laughs> As a ch when I played this when I was younger, I thought it was so unfair. Like, the first proper boss fight you have is a 3v1. And I remember it being really difficult. But when I got older, I found it a lot easier. I don't think we're going to lose. Um, if we do lose, you get to see the fatality they perform on us. Uh, but I don't think we're going to lose. So, for the first half of the fight, you basically have to weaken Kitana and get her in that bubble uh, and Jade and Melina are kind of just here to stop you doing that with all their annoying like dive kicking and flying kicks and that bloody ball roll if you've ever played an MK game one of the current ones you know Melina's ball roll is just the epitome of pain in the ass thankfully in this game it's not too bad but you know, I wish we could fatality them Stop teleporting. There we go. So once you've done enough damage to it, you throw her in there, and you've basically got to stop these two from basically cancelling out the portal. Uh, you've got to keep her in there for as long as you possibly can. Oh. Uh, we've done enough damage to Jade that she sits out for a bit. Yeah, no. Just, just go away. <laughs> It's just you now, girl. We're about to kick your booty. Oh, and she's gone. Off she goes. So yeah, if you damage them enough in this part, they will go away to, to regenerate health. Uh, I guess that means we just... Oh, she's back. I was going to say, I guess that means we just wait for the timer, but... If she's back... Ah, she was back too late. So this is the first portion of the boss fight done. Like, they, there is I, essentially two parts. I love that. Ugh. So yeah, now we just got to beat these two up. And we get a little health for, for doing all that. And... Joe, you have so much more health. Or at least it, I guess it looks like it. Because you have the whole screen as your health on two player. Because you share a health bar. So you have so much more health. But I remember, even on the two player one, it seems like everyone does more damage. Ah! Yeah, this is also a portion of the boss fight, so if you damage them now, they fall in these cages, and you just have a test run might chance, and that one burns, and it basically does a huge chunk of their health. And now Jade's in here, one. Get over there, take that. Uh, you've got to get there quite quickly, otherwise they will just, like, get out of it. And then poor Jade gets stabbed. Which just doesn't look very nice. Poor Jade. I like Jade. She's a cool character. Melina's a cool character too. Uh, but, yeah. If you know anything about MK, uh, Katana and Melina are essentially sisters, clones, and then Jade's her best friend. Um, oh my god, we did the little kick thing. <laughs> And it actually, like, did something. Uh, I think by the time we've done this one, Jade will have fallen out with the other one. Which is kind of annoying, but... Oh well. Hopefully we can get there in time. Yeah, no, we didn't. You messed up my chance. How dare you! Right, I think she's down. Yeah, once one of them goes down, they just kind of just stand there in that dazed state. Come on. Nah. 
And fire punch. That's so cool. There we go. And we're gonna go straight on over to Melina. We're gonna hit it right in the booty with this fatality. So, doo -doo -doo -doo. I always enjoyed that you get to do cool fatal uh, the fatalities to the bosses. I think out of both of them though, Jade gets it the worst. Like Melina just gets like kicked and hit with a stick, and then Jade gets stabbed in the eyes. Here, it's crazy. Let me help you. Right, I'll I'll, I'll be quiet because it's quite a long cutscene. So I'll see you guys at the end of this cutscene. Who are you? I am Liu Kang. I come from Earth Realm. This is Kung Lao. We are here to stop Shang Tsung from attacking Earth. Shang Tsung? It is not Shang Tsung that wants Earth. Not Shang Tsung? Uh, you better take a look at this. One of them is dead. The other is only stunned. Jade? You killed her. She was my best friend and you killed her. Don't touch me! I should destroy you for killing Jade! She tried to kill us. I am sorry. You were under a spell of some sort. You were trying to kill us. Where am I? How did I get here? Maybe this one can explain. And do not look under the veil. Let me go! Explain yourself. Jade was my... Kitana's best friend! Until Jade was forced by Shao Kahn to hunt her down and bring her back to him. We were given a spell to control her. Shao Kahn? Isn't that your father? I do not blame you for this, Jade. I blame the man that forces me to call him father. The one who killed my true father and stole his throne. I blame Shao Kahn for what he did to my mother. What is it? I am remembering a lot now. Where's Reptile? Who? Reptile. If Melina is here, so is Reptile. They are inseparable. I am certain that they have both been charged with hunting me down. Alright, we are we are basically back. This is the end of the cutscene. So yeah, Melina didn't die unfortunately, but Kitana's best friend did. I've, I always hated that. Uh, but now that we've actually beat our second boss, we also get another ability reward. Which this one is pretty useful uh, in getting some items. So yeah, though, do you remember that statue, those statues we've been seeing around that I said we can't do anything with? Now we can break those, so that is very helpful. Also at the end of every boss you get a crap load of EXP as a reward, obviously, for your hard work. Also in the cutscene, one thing that's never sat right with me is after she finds out we killed Jade, she's like, I should destroy you for killing Jade. Bitch, we just kicked all three of your asses at the same time. You couldn't destroy us on your own, even if you wanted to. Like, come on now. Let's be real. It's just always, it always made me laugh, because it's just like, what? We just killed your best friend and beat all three of you. And and you're trying to say you should, you should kill us for what we've done. Okay, we freed you. Kung Lao, Liu Kang. I have discovered that Shang Tsung has somehow used the Elder God's magic boundaries to make Outworld vulnerable. I do not understand. Also, I want to apologize about these frame drops. I don't know if you guys are going to see them in the recording, but they are happening for me. Hopefully they don't happen for you. Here affects Shang Tsung's power directly. You must fight until one of you is victorious. It is the only way to save Earth. We will be in competition with each other then. Shang Tsung's power will be divided between you. That will make him vulnerable and incapable of attacking Earth. Raiden, who is Shao Kahn? Where's Kitana? He is not to be concerned with. 
Kitana is still regaining Who? trying to understand the Forget that guy. Of magic she was cursed with. You two must concern yourselves with saving Earthrealm. Through the portals you will find more battles, more ways to weaken Shang Tsung. So yeah, basically we just gotta kill everyone and, and and weaken Shang Tsung by doing it. Which it's more combat, you know, what did you expect? But also, if you go back to the boss uh, boss fight arena, there will be a little surprise for us. Uh, which is something that I didn't realise until I accidentally, as when I was younger, went back. Uh, if you come back, there's a little medallion where Jade's body was. You unlock concept up. Uh, it'd be cool if you unlock Jade, uh, but unfortunately, Jade and Melina are both not playable at all in versus mode. Uh, which is kind of a bummer, because you, you verse them as a boss, so it'd be, it'd be kind of nice, but ho-hum. But yeah, this this is pretty much the end of the episode, guys. I think it was a pretty good episode. We uh, beat the second boss in the game. Technically, it's like the first proper boss. Uh, but we, we, we beat a boss. Technically three. Not to brag. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.